Being mindful is the practice of maintaining a non-judgmental state of heightened or complete awareness of one's thoughts, emotions, or experiences on a moment-to-moment basis, which can be extremely important while trying to understand and learn more about mental health. So let me welcome you to Mindful Thoughts. My name is Dolores, and I feel like my mission in life is to help break down those barriers around mental wellness by sharing personal stories, tips, and confessions of mental health to help us shine a light on mental wellness. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. I have a confession to make, and that is that even to this day, I am afraid of being judged by everyone now you might listen to this and think to yourself like there's no way you have a podcast about about mental health you talk about it like it's nothing you talk to other people and you're able to share stories and you talk about it on instagram and you post posts about it and you're talking about our story but there is still a part of me that is so scared of what other people are going to say And I think over time you can gain confidence in yourself and be able to know that you're being who you really are and you're sharing your authentic self. But there is still a part of you that is terrified of what other people are going to say and how other people are going to judge you. That is never going to get easy because everyone out there has a comment about what you're putting out there and what you're saying. And I don't know how many times I've wrote something as a post and I've put it out there in the world and it terrifies me. Like, what are people going to say? And for a long time, I told myself that sharing on social media about what I was going through was not something I was going to share. But then I decided that that was only hiding who I really was. So if I really wanted people to be a part of who I really am, I needed to share it all, the good and the bad. So I decided that I needed to share and talk about my mental health, even though it was so scary to do. And as much as you might listen to my podcast episodes and you might think that I'm this confident woman who isn't afraid of what people are going to say and I can share anything and not be scared of that judgment. I am. And I think it's important to share that with you that I am confident in who I am. I am confident about what I post. I am confident about what I talk about, but there is still that tiny bit and a tiny part of me that is afraid that Someone's going to get hurt by what I say or someone's going to disagree with me. And like I said, there are people that are like you can't please everybody and you can't just think I have to put something out that everybody's going to agree with and everybody's going to like because there even when you try to do that, there could still be that one person who still doesn't like it and still has a comment about what you're doing and what you're saying. So I've had to learn over time that it's okay to be scared of judgment because everybody is. And I don't even think it's what I do. I I think even people who, you know, write books and produce movies or have their own business, like, I think everybody's afraid. Everybody's afraid of judgment. Everybody's afraid of the comments. Everybody is scared to have other people say things about them that aren't true or aligned. And I think that the more I put myself out there and even with creating like YouTube videos, if I am going to put myself out there, like I have to accept that there are going to be people who judge me and there are going to be people who don't agree with me. And I can't take that to heart because When I first started creating things and when I first started putting stuff out there, I think I thought to myself, like, if someone says something negative to me, like, I know who I am, I would take that to heart. 
because for a long time when people would make comments about the way I do things or even at work like the way I work or if I do something wrong like I always took that to heart and I was always scared that if I put something out there and someone said something it was going to destroy me and then I wasn't going to do what I was passionate about because I was so scared of that. I was so scared of that comment or that judgment or what people are going to say. So I just wanted to share that with you today because I like to be open and honest about how I'm feeling. And I feel like there's going to be so many people that are going to connect with me that say the same thing. Because everybody in this world is scared of somebody saying something to them or judging them for sharing their story and putting themselves out there or posting something or creating something or starting that business like you're always worried about what other people are going to say and what other people are going to do and I think a lot of times that prevents us from really living the lives we dream of and the goals we want to reach because we're just so scared of everything this world is going to throw at us if we do. But I just wanted to share that with you guys today because I was feeling like for a long time this is something that was holding me back and even though I, like I said, I have become more of a confident person who like puts themselves out there and shares their story and connects with other people who are going through it, I still have those days and those times where I post something or I say something in my stories that I'm afraid someone's going to take it the wrong way or they're going to comment or they're going to judge me for sharing what I'm sharing. And I just think at this point that's a part of life. It's a part of the journey and over time it might get easier but I don't think it'll ever go away. I even think the most confident people still somewhere in the back of their mind are fearing that judgment from the world. Even when we put on a front like we don't care, like when someone puts a nasty mean comment, you try to say you don't care. You try to say, you know, like that's on them and that's how they feel, it's not on me, but sometimes it affects us and it makes us feel certain ways and we just have to learn to overcome that. We have to learn to either, like some people, turn off comments on videos or their posts so people don't say anything because you just don't want that negativity. You just don't want that to bring you down. And I feel like it's, again, never going to go away, but if I talk about it and I share that with you, then... It also might be able to help me connect with other people who feel the same way. Who feel like the judgment of other people has been holding them back for a long time. And they're not living out the life they want to live or that dream they want to do because they're so terrified of what other people are going to say. Because I'm there. I'm there almost every time I post something that I don't want people to take the wrong way. Or I go on my stories and I say something, you know, that I'm just sharing my feelings and who's going to take it that way. I feel that way a lot of times when I post my vlogs on YouTube. Like, who's going to say something about what I'm doing? Who's going to not like my videos? Who's going to give me a thumbs down? And I've just talked to myself into knowing that not everybody's going to agree with me, and that's okay. I am not meant to be on this world to make everybody happy. I'm not meant to be on this world to have everyone like me and get along with me. It's okay to have people who don't like me. It's okay to have people who don't agree with me. Does sometimes that affect me? Of course it does. But I think that goes for anybody out there. Of course it affects you. Of course, it makes you feel a certain way. But I th think if we look at it and we realize that 
sometimes it's not about us it's about someone else or their insecurities or them feeling like maybe they're not as far in life as you are then it makes it a little bit easier to see those comments and not have it affect us so much it might still affect us but it won't affect us on that level where we're like crippled by it and I just wanted to share that with you guys today that my confession is I am still sometimes afraid of the world's judgments about what I'm producing what I'm doing but I'm learning to figure out the ways to still be the confident version of myself I want to be without letting this world crumble my dreams. So I really hope that you can resonate with this and connect with it and I hope this can help anybody right now who feels the same way I do because you're not alone. There are many of us going through it and we all know how you feel. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for listening to another episode. And you know what would be so amazing? If you shared, left a comment, and liked this episode. Any type of support and love for this podcast is going to help it grow more and more every day. I'm so grateful to have you here. And I'll talk to you again soon.